Just reminding you of our developing story, uh, the plane tragedy that's killed uh, nearly all of the uh, triple champion Russian ice hockey team Lokomotiv Yaroslavl. Uh, their Yak-42 jet crashed during takeoff for, from Yaroslavl Airport, that's 270 kilometers northeast of Moscow. Latest figures, 43 of the 45 on board were killed. Again, now let's uh, cross live to Anissa Nawe in Yaroslavl. Anissa, uh, good to see you there. Uh, okay, so you're at the site right now. What is the uh, latest that you can uh, give us? Uh, well, this just in, we now know that 31 bodies have officially been found. Uh, we're hearing conflicting reports. Some are saying that they were actually found in the Volga River where part of the plane, part of the fuselage uh, was in fact found. I just want to take you through the latest uh, figures. You mentioned 43 people confirmed dead. It still stands at that number. Uh, 45 on board in total. The team, Yaroslav, uh, it, Lokomotiv has confirmed that all 37 uh, members of the team were on board. And we do know that two people uh, did survive. One of them is Alexander Karimov, who's a member of the Russian national team. He is in hospital, uh, and we know that he has burns, we're hearing, on 80% of his body, so in very critical condition. The second survivor, we don't know exactly who it is. We do know that it has been confirmed that that second survivor is in hospital, and they're being uh, taken care of, obviously, as we speak. An investigation has been launched. Um, I also want to mention some of the foreigners that were on board. Uh, team head coach is a Canadian, um, and he has been confirmed killed. 52-year-old Brad McCrimmon confirmed dead in that plane crash. We also know uh, that there were, there were members of the team from Sweden, the Czech Republic, Belarus, Ukraine. Uh, and we, we can't confirm this, but we are hearing that one of the players on board was a Czech ice hockey player. Uh, Jan Marks, who uh, we're going to presume for now that he is one of uh, those that were killed because it hasn't been confirmed that he is in hospital. Uh, a devastating tragedy. We're getting pictures in from other cities across the country which have canceled the, the opening games of the KHL season uh, as they get this devastating news of this entire team practically being killed in this crash. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that uh, update, Anissa. Now we're there uh, live in Yaroslavl reporting on the plane tragedy right there. Thank you.